James Kaufman, World News Report today. This is our solar activity update for today, October 2nd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our KP index, our estimated planetary KP index, the updated version used by NOAA and NASA, and it shows that our solar winds and plasma are slowly diminishing. Although it does not look like that's the case when we take a look at our satellites, as we will see, there's a very good chance that we'll go back into a geomagnetic storm very, very shortly. Now, we have had a six-hour hiatus, which has been very, very nice. You can see for the last several days that we've been in and out of a G1, G2, and G3 geomagnetic storm. Unbelievable. Taking a look at our GOES X-ray flux, it looks like we've only had one small M flare that was Earth facing. They got picked up our GOES satellite on M1.2, and that happened right around 2:45 UTC time, which really would have been about 11, right before 11 p.m. last night. So far, the rest of the day, we've seen very little action especially considering we have two Delta-class sunspots Earth-facing and a decent chance of having an X-class solar flare today. Head over to Space Weather Live. We do see that M1.2 class solar flare. Let's see if we can find it here. It happened or peaked right at 2 UTC time. So we weren't too far off there. We have at least one Delta class sunspot. We did have two, but our M class solar flare was generated by a simple, as you see in green here, sunspot group AR4226. We'll get a little bit better idea of what the sunspot groups that are Earth facing look like in just one moment. We do see we have a beta gamma sunspot up here. 4236, I believe this was a Delta sunspot, but again, we will see in just one moment. Today, we had a 15% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 60% chance of having an M-class solar flare. That ship barely sailed, and we've been maintaining a C-class baseline, so a C-class solar flare for weeks, if not months now take a look at the sunspot groups and see what we've got going on. All right, going around the limb, we have 4229. Following that, we have 4230, a Delta class sunspot group. And right below that, we have 4238, a Beta Gamma class sunspot group. Directly Earth-facing center mass of our solar disk, we have 4232. And there's a good chance that that could send an X flare at any moment our way, especially since we haven't seen any flaring for such a long time or extensive flaring. That sun's got to be ready to rumble. We also have 4236, a beta gamma sunspot right above there. And then we have four simple sunspots, including AR4235, AR4233, AR4 240 and AR4241 that are moving around to be Earth facing. So, in total, we have nine sunspot groups with 4229 about to go around the far limb on our HMI intensogram image. All right, you can see these have moved much further around the limb now. And we're going to see if we can get some more up to date pictures. But most of this stuff's going to make it around the limb, although our geoconnection to our sun is this far limb. So if there are any large explosions off that far limb, they could very well be geoeffective towards Earth. These are the sunspot groups that are facing Earth, including the, the Delta-class sunspot group and the Beta-Gamma-class sunspot group. Now, we have several that need to be named here and that are coming around the limb. We've also had this long, thin coral hole that's been Earth-facing, and it doesn't look like it's letting up anytime soon. 
So we have had a six hour break, but I wouldn't uh, count on the geomagnetic storm being over. Our shields are still to the south. And again, this coral hole seems to go on for some time. I would see an increase in solar winds over the next four days at least. And we're talking about 650 plus kilometer per second solar winds. I believe that we're much higher than that currently. And I believe that the next bar that drops will show that we're back into a geomagnetic storm. Or perhaps only a disturbance. But we will check it out. Over to our Discover Real-Time Solar Wind Satellite. The newest of the new. This is replacing ACE that we still do use. We see that our shields are down here and have well, a southern component to them. Not good. And we see plasma kind of scattered all over the place here. Here's a 26. It's a bunch of strange ones. Here's a, a 10. Barely breaking that threshold. Here's a 22.65. Here's an 18.32. This area here, not quite sure what occurred here, but for about a five hour period, we had some problems there. And you can see that there's also some increased solar winds during that period. 863, 909. Getting about as fast as I've ever seen them. I don't know, 906. I don't know if we've seen them over a thousand kilometers per second or not. I think we have once or twice. But you can see that these solar winds are still increasing. And just when they said that it was safe to go back in the water, you've got 861 kilometers per second solar winds just a few hours ago. And 837 kilometer solar winds just a few hours ago and then we have some well, some random dots way up here i don't know if i'll be able to grab any but even the 775 kilometers per second solar winds should leave us in at least a geomagnetic disturbance with our shields down here plasma wise we have this anomaly for about five hours Specs of plasma that go all the way up to, well, there's one at 35.94, probably the highest one. Very hard to explain anything like that. Uh, temperature is slightly elevated, believe it or not. It seems to be moving with the solar winds, which are also slightly elevated. And we'll see what happens, but I believe that we're still in a geomagnetic storm, and the next part of drop will prove that. Now, I usually use STO, but STO has had a server hardware failure. This data storage, all features are temporary unavailable. The team is working to restore access as soon as possible. This has been since the 11th, or really 12th, uh, right after Charlie's uh, incident. And it's almost like they don't want us to be able to see the sun in different angstroms and see what's going on on our sun. They definitely don't want us to see the backside of our sun. That's from the 11th of September. What a joke. STO Intensogram is working. So it gets morphed back into a regular sunspot from reverse polarity. There's a reverse polarity sunspot coming around the limb right there. And we can see that this is that nasty delta class sunspot that will hopefully soon go around the limb. This was taken at 1800, so right around 1 a.m. Central Time this morning. STO HMI magnetogram. And finally, we've had this taken at 8.06 last night. We can see that coral hole. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Even after it stops facing Earth directly, 
we'll have about 30 hours more of solar winds to deal with. This is that mess going around the limb. This is that mess, both the delta spot and the beta gamma spot are facing. And these are some of the new sunspots that are developing. With that said, guys, stay safe. They are actually warning of a possible X flare at NOAA. So keep that in mind. Uh, they're worried about that Earth-facing Delta class sunspot crew. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world. God bless.